Blockchains ensure consensus on data and computation. You can recreate the entire historic timeline of a piece of data or of a smart contract source. Who created it? What were the changes made to it? Etc. In this video, I am going to show you that the centerpiece of Web2, the web page, can be hosted on a blockchain and it will inherit the same properties that a blockchain has. Its creation and history can be tracked, its content is decentralized and cannot be censored, and the client node itself can serve this web page directly from its data. Each node comes with its own data browser controlled by smart contracts. And this is one very simple Solidity contract that implements the required GET interface, a GET function that receives a simplified HTTP request object. And right now it returns a response that contains the content and custom header data like the content type. So here in Remix, I'm going to use our Mythos plugin. I'm going to copy the URL, go to this plugin manager here, click on connect to a local plugin and paste the URL. And now you can already see this compiled contract with the Mythos server here. And we can see the bytecode, the ABI, the WebAssembly text format, and our WebAssembly bytecode is already loaded. So we are going to upload this contract and deploy it on the latest Mythos testnet, which is testnet 8. We have a code ID for the contract. We give it a label. We instantiate the contract. And now we have a contract address for it. We can also go to the DAP page that has been built automatically from the contract ABI. And now we can register this contract to control a route. I am going to open a terminal and use the command for registering the Mythos path. I will copy this contract address and paste it in the command. So we have registered our path. And we can see the registration message here. And now let's set the web page. So I have a web page source here that I am going to paste and make the transaction. The transaction has been made. And now we can go to the Mythos route in a full node that serves this HTTP web server. The HTTP web server is at port 80. And here is our web page. Today you have seen the first blockchain that can provide decentralized web services controlled by smart contracts. 
In future versions, route registration will be controlled by governance and the entire routing system will be implemented by smart contracts in WebAssembly.